for about 13 years now, which is most longer than most people LARP. If you go to LARPs now, the age range goes from about 18 to 22. I'm 26, and I'm the oldest LARPer around. LARPing is an acronym that stands for Live Action Role Playing, and it's just basically role playing games, except for instead of playing on a tabletop with dice, you are assigned or you pick a character and you play that role. LARPing got started in the late 80s when the second edition of Dungeons and Dragons came out. With LARPing, you can take these characters like the elves and everything and dress up and play these roles instead of just having to roll dice and be like, my character is going to go in here and then you roll a dice to see if he actually does. Now you can put on an outfit and actually go in this place and say, I'm casting a spell and you're actually interacting with other people instead of just playing with one other guy or playing on a computer. One of the most passionate people I've seen in LARPing is this Indigo Kincaid. He, he's always there, he's always dressed up in just high elvish clothing. He's, he's got the gold robe, he's got the insignia on his robe, he's got the medallion that has the picture of Bane on it. When people see him walking into a LARP, they know, first of all, they know his name. And they, they just know his powers, they know what he's going to do, they know what kind of person he is, what, what he stands for. And people are scared of him. Well, a friend kind of turned me on to the idea back in the fifth grade. But then, we aren't really friends anymore because I turned out to be a much better LARPer than he. Kind of started out kind of as just a, a recreation and now it's sort of a lifestyle. Well, I kind of dropped my previous life to become a LARPer. Um, my parents wanted me to attend North Pole University, but um, I decided to move out and concentrate solely on LARPing. LARPing sort of put me in a group of friends that understood my lifestyle and they wouldn't make fun of me. Um, if you're not familiar with the Elven region um, from Rod Watch of Middle Earth, most of them I would say have pointy ears, which is characteristic and somewhat stereotypical of the Elven race. Um, but they are distinct in that they have long flowing beards. Um, so most of the time I use the pointy ears and the long flowing beards as my um, basic costume, but then I can have certain cloaks and stuff for invisibility and my magical powers. One of the main parts of my costume are these ears, which I said before because I'm an elf. It helps me distinguish, it helps distinguish me as an elf as opposed to the necromancers or the wizards. Um, and as you can see, they're quite large and pointy, which is shows my rank. The younger elves, the less skilled elves, um, have small ears that aren't as pointy. And then we have the beard, which shows that I'm from the southeast portion of Middle Earth. And because, and it shows how old I am. Um, I'm 19 right now, so in elf years, that's like about 1200 or so. And then finally, you have to choose which cloak you want to wear. Um, I like the light blue and the dark blue. The light blue is if you want to hone your extreme fighting skills, hand to hand combat. Um, but since I've already mastered that, I like to choose the dark blue which is the Necromancer Cloak, which helps me with my magic and my spellcasting. All right, now I'm ready, ready to do battle. I am Indigo Kincaid. Well, as I mentioned before, I have my mustache and beard, and then I have my pointy ears, which are symbolic of my elven race. Um, but my cloak is what distinguishes up me um, right now, because I'm wearing my blue cloak, which is for um, the necromancers, and the blue is um, typically used for magical spells and heightens my um, knowledge of the spells I cast. I don't dress like this all the time. I would, I would like to, because I feel this is how um, I should dress and that I'm more comfortable with. But sometimes, um, since I dropped out of North Pole, I moved back with my parents, and they don't allow me to dress like this because I'm an embarrassment to the family. 
it's kind of hard. Excuse me. I'm sorry. It's just kind of, it's kind of, you know, it's hard for me to not be accepted by my parents. Sometimes people make fun of me, but you know, I don't care because I love to LARP and no matter what they do, they can push me or, you know, call me bad names, leave things on my steps, but I'm not gonna stop LARPing because that's who I am, it's part of me. And you know, I just I like it too much and I've done it for too long to just, you know, let it go because somebody doesn't think it's cool. You know, and, and if it came down to it, I mean I bet I would like them to try LARPing and see, you know, do battle with me and see what they have to say. LARPing is a part of me, and I'm never going to stop LARPing. I don't care what it is, but as long as I'm, you know, walking around, I'm going to be LARPing. It's a part of me, and if it makes me happy, then I'm going to do it as long as I can. And it's part of me, and, you know, as long as it makes me feel good, then it'll always be a part of my heart.